be day two, second attempt at starting. We'll see what happens. Okay, keep staying, keep running. Forty four all pressure. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Let's try that again. I think there's still a lot of fuel in the cylinders, guys. I'm not sure. IOC, idle air controller, 40%. Battery, 14.3. Oil pressure, 52, so that's good. So again, the oil pressure is a big thing, guys, here. My fuel pressure is fluctuating a little bit. I'm not sure why that is. I should probably check for leaks. I got my foot slightly depressed on the accelerator here. But I just wanted to uh, clean it up a bit. Important thing is the oil pressure here, guys. Watch the coolant temperature, it's 105 now. This thing won't get to uh, start learning. It's got to be above uh, 195, I believe. Okay, so my foot's off the gas now, so it looks like it's stabilized a little bit, which is good. Okay guys, so this this is positive here. I'm just gonna go outside quickly and check, see if there's any leaking out of the bottom of that uh, fitting I just fixed. No, it's dry, so that's good. Pressure is good. Turbo spinning nicely. So that's good. Awesome. No leaks on the injector rails. Here's the rails. I got the the uh, adapters on there. EB14. Because this, uh, this harness is actually for EV1. So yeah, no leaks there, so that's good. Good guys, no leaks on the injector rails and no leaks uh, underneath. It's awesome. So that's fixed. Oil pressure is still 45, which is good. 
okay? Coolant temperature 173. Okay. So we're gonna we're not gonna run it that long because I gotta get uh, the coolant circulating in there. What I did is I uh, I topped up the engine via the heater hose here. So I popped this off, threw coolant in the engine, so there is coolant in there and in the radiator. I got the fuel pressure fluctuating a bit. I'm not, I'm not sure why that is, but anyways. Oh, power steering works, so that's nice. Shit, everything seems to be working, guys. Just gotta keep an eye on our oil pressure. I'm gonna get the laptop in here at some point. Okay, so the fan just came on. So let's just go confirm that. Lights are all green on our uh, X Max, so that's awesome. Yeah, fan is on. Yep. Fan is on, so that's good. So we're just gonna watch our temperature here. I'll probably shut it down at 180. 45, fuel pressure. I mean, fuel pressure is 40. Yeah, it's fluctuating, I'm not sure why. Anyways, oil pressure 44, so that's good. Voltage 14.2. Idle air controller 40%. Now I'm gonna shut this down because temperature is too high now. 224. See the coolant hasn't circulated, so we'll let it cool down and uh, put some coolant in the radiator. See how high it got there? 224. All of a sudden, boom. Okay, guys, as you just saw, it just started. Temperature went up to 224 because I think there's still an airlock in the in our cooling system here. So let me just put our heat gun on there and see what it does. But it actually ran really good. And she's warm. So I got some air pockets in there. That's the exhaust manifold. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it cool down. And then uh Pull the radiator cap off and then put some more coolant in because I think that again there's air pockets in here that's why it said it was a 225 as you guys just saw obviously it's not so we didn't we didn't do any damage but uh, again ran good for a first second start couldn't ask for more than that I did put coolant in here via this hose here I took this hose off and just threw coolant into the block but I still think there's some air pockets so uh, we'll let it cool down and then uh, Check the, the coolant level in the radiator, put some more coolant in, and then uh, restart this thing tomorrow. Again, there's no leaks coming from the uh, turbo feed line because I fixed that because I cross-threaded the, uh, the fitting first time around. Then I re I, re uh, I put the die back on here, 7 16 UN, UNF, uh, 14 or 20 threads per inch. So I redid it, and it actually worked last night, but I decided to go buy a new one. And I bought the uh, steel one, just like that guy right there. So it's harder, so it's going to be a lot, a lot stronger. So less chance of cross threading. But this is the old one, so I got a new one on there now for the turbo feed. So yeah, that was a good, uh, a good first second start, guys. So it actually ran pretty good, as you saw with those new injectors. So those are the Let's Boost It 100 pounders. Seem to be working pretty good. Car was idling super smooth, so that's good. And yeah, so we'll just let her cool down and. Uh, do it again tomorrow and put some more coolant in and then uh, keep on going with uh, the project here. So again guys, thanks for watching and thanks for uh, your interest. That's off, just get my keys here. Put that light off.